Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So last week I gave you a quick introduction to 3D Studio Max's Max script. We took a look at how you can execute single lines of code within the interface in order to invoke functionality on your objects. Now that movie was very well received, so this week we'll be taking an even deeper dive into Max script where I'll show you how to write a random selection utility and we'll write it in two different flavors which makes it more complicated so I'll also show you how to create a rollout to house your functionality and to help you write longer scripts. So let's get started. I'm going to go up to Max script and click on new script and that's going to create a new script for me and we're going to execute the functionality in a basic way of what we're looking for. I'm going to say for object in objects do and then I'm going to say if random between 0 and 1 is equal to 1 do and then after that I'm going to say select more object. So what this is doing similar to before is for each object in the scene flip a coin so it's random between 0 and 1 and if it's 1 if it's heads I want you to add to the selection the object that came up for that coin flip. And when I evaluate this code, control E, it'll actually execute. And I get this, so this object selection, this randomization that I'm looking for. But what if I wanted to make it more complicated? What if I said something like, oh, I only want it for a certain selection, for only these objects, or for only these objects? Well, that makes it slightly more complicated. And if I could put this into a rollout, into a floating window, then I would be able to very quickly make that change on the fly. So let's do that. I'm going to create a rollout. Roll out my random selection tool. Random selection. And I'm going to put the functionality within parentheses. Now what these do, this line here is it says I'm creating a new rollout. I'm going to call it my random selection tool, and that's what it's going to be called in the code. And the name that I want to appear at the top of the rollout is random selection. And we can test this by cutting this out, control X, I'm going to keep it on my clipboard. And below the rollout, I'm going to say create dialog my random selection tool. And now when I execute this code, control E, I get my random selection floater. And this will house the functionality for this, for this script. So let's create those user interface elements that are going to control the script and actually allow it to execute. And then we'll paste our function back in. Now I want two things. I want a checkbox in order to control whether it's being based on all the objects or being based on a selection. And then I want a button in order to actually make that happen. So I'll say checkbox, use current selection, use current selection. And then I'll also have a button. And this will be get random, get random. And now if I hit control E again, I'll see that my user interface objects are here. Now I can't use them because they don't do anything. We have to wire them to functionality. But that's also very easy to do. Now the user interface elements are event driven. So we need to say when X happens, Y needs to happen. So we'll say on random, actually on get random pressed do. And now when we press the get random button, something will happen. So what do we want to happen? We'll say if random, if use current selection dot checked do. Actually, this should be then, then. So if we're using the current selection, then do this code. Else, do this code. So use current selection. Well, then we need to we need to write that in a moment here. But we'll paste our old functionality back here. Now, one thing that we will want to do though is clear selection so that we're not stacking up random selections all the time. Otherwise, we'll end up with everything selected. Now, if we're using the current selection, what we need to do is not work from zero objects and select objects as we go, but we need to work with the current selection, 
hold on to the objects that we want to select until the very end, and then swap that out for the current selection. So we'll create a new array, object array equals an array, and that's the that's what an array looks like. And we'll say for uh, for object in selection do if random zero one just like before do and now instead of select more object we need to append this object to the array so we'll say append object array with object and at the very end we'll clear the selection because we remember we have something currently selected and then we'll say select the object array that we created up here. And now when I run this, control E, I can say get random, and I can click this as many times as I want in order to get a random selection of objects from the entire scene. Or I can select a certain number of objects, use the current selection, and get random. And now it will only select random objects from that set. So this is how you create and deploy a dialog window. It's a very powerful system that allows you to add some sense into larger scripts and extend your workflow even further than executing single lines of code. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday Movie. You can find all of my Monday Movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.